It's a dating app that utilizes an interactive heat map. That sounds spicy. Joining us now is Craig Cole, the creator of the Doppler social app. This is a really interesting invention. Yeah. What inspired you to create an app in a market that seems like, as you've said, already feels flooded with dating right. apps? Right. Well, it's interesting. In this new digital age of connectivity that we live in, um, there's an app for everything, mm -hmm. right? Anything you want is essentially a tap away, or I should say a swipe away, mm -hmm. right? But what we found being a saturated market these swipes that people are, are doing on these dating apps, people are stockpiling these matches, but not actually interacting offline. Right. So we actually did a survey and we found that people simply want to get back to traditional old school dating standards. Um, so we wanted to create an app that focused more on where you're going, not necessarily where you've been. And we found that that will lead to more offline interactions. And that parlays into the heat map. Exactly. How does the heat map work? Yes, yeah, so we give you an interactive heat map. And on this heat map, it shows you the hottest spots in your city. Uh, what I mean by spots is venues, clubs, events, areas where people are hanging out in your targeted demographic. So then you can get an idea of what to do tonight, where to go this weekend with your friends. And then based on what's on this map, you can select what you like or what you're interested in, events you're maybe attending this week or next week. And that's going to show on your profile. So then when you drop your pin and go to this area, we'll match you with other users that share those common interests and have common ground with you. So that way you have something organic and tangible to talk about. That you already have in common because you're exactly. at the same event. So then how does it encourage you to, how do you actually connect with the person once you're at the event? Have you already exchanged your information? Right, it, it's, it's not necessarily that you absolutely have to go to the same event or you are going to the same place. It's, it's simply showing that you're interested in going to this concert. So, so what happens, um, I can speak on it through, through experience. When, mm -hmm. when I got to have a long-term relationship, I joined this dating pool. And this is how the app was created. And I found myself getting all kinds of anxiety over what to say after a match. So that led to a lot of matches, like I said, stock piling up, but no offline interaction because I had to come up with this, this online personality where right. I had to say, hey, do you wanna have coffee next week or this week? And these unwritten rules of dating apps, when do I give her my phone number? When do I not? Yeah. And, and frankly, fr quite frankly, that's uh, the same for a lot of people. So this way, by focusing on more what you're interested in, where you're going in the future, mm -hmm. that takes away this game you have to play online. I'm like, hey, are you going to this concert? I'm going to the concert. Why don't we link there? That's a really good idea. Yeah. There's also something called the ghost mode. So what is ghost mode? Yeah, ghost mode is we found uh, a lot of people love the map who are also in a relationship. It's like, okay, let's create a feature. If you're in a relationship, you can still use the, use the heat map to find concerts, venues, all the hot spots in your area, and you can turn on ghost mode, ghost mode, and that takes you out of the swipe pool. We found that people really love that when they're traveling, because I don't mm -hmm. know how many times you, know, you go to a new city, you don't want to end up at the chain restaurants, right? Right, Because um, there's some competitors out there that that's kind of what they focus on. So we yeah. focus on more of those trending places more local people know about and the true hot spots. So it's not only then a dating app, it's a lifestyle app. Exactly. That helps you find cool places to go with your friends or if you, if you don't, if you're not up for dating right. at the moment. Right. That's really interesting. So the dating map, the dating app fatigue, you have found a way around it. What's been the reception? Oh, uh, it's, it's been phenomenal. People have found it just a much more organic way to link. Um, it, it takes away the, frankly, the, the, the anxiety that the dating apps give you. And being that they're such uh, more socially accepted now, mm -hmm. uh, this is just a much funner, easier way. That's how you meet way. people. Exactly, 100%. It, it used to be, they, you know, 20 years ago, there was a chat room. Right. Now, everybody who's single is right. on a dating app of some sort. So people watching right now who want to download this app, where is it? And how much is it and where do they go? Yes, they go on the iTunes or the App Store, mm -hmm. um, search Doppler Social App. should pop right up. You can follow us on Instagram or Facebook, Doppler Social App. And it is free. So it is a win-win uh, for everybody. And this works for Kansas City right now. So, so we are to going find... to be coming to Kansas City. That's okay. why we're here. So we're going to go where the demand comes. So hopefully we get, we get a few downloads and then that will that'll bring us right here. So the more of you watching that download the app, which is That's free. Right the greater the odds of this app That's right. launching soon in Kansas City. Craig Cole, thank you very much. Creator of Doppler Social App. Really smart invention. Thank you. And Thanks it's worked for out me. for you. It has. <clears throat> no it has. more awkward conversations. No more awkward You're conversations. You're the least awkward person I've met. So <laughs> this is, I'm sure you don't have any trouble in that yeah. area. Nah, online though, it's different.